Hey yo baby, what is poppin'? Welcome back to the channel guys, if you don't know who I am, well, you're a dummy for not knowing who I am. You should be slamming your nostrils on that subscribe button right now and just making sure that you're subscribed and you're joining the family, you're joining the journey on an everyday epic wild journey and chase on the evil in this world, aka the cannibals and human traffickers and Satanists and the elites and all of that guys. My channel can very well be taken down in the future because they don't want you knowing Knowing the truth they don't want me exposing all of this truth so make sure you subscribe and you turn on the little bell that's a post notifications make sure that you're just here every single video and joining us on this journey because if I end up going missing or if my channel ends up getting taken down you guys are hearing it here first but I did not just go missing and I did not die suddenly okay it's the elites but Ashley is freaking out she doesn't want to live in the house that we're in right now yes it's off the grid nobody can figure out our exact location which is really Really epic and really good for what I've been doing but at the same time my fiance is freaking out and the reason why she's freaking out the most is because of Calvin's room so I took the liberty of giving her an option I said I will take apart Calvin's room and make it a normal room for you if you can stay in this house just a little bit longer coop, coop. Look what I can do, a hey, baby. The door is still here. I'm probably gonna end up ripping that apart in a second or two, but I'm leaving it here for now. I just haven't gotten to it. But I brought another desk in here, and I also brought my gaming stuff. But guys, don't worry. I kept what is important, aka I kept his TV that's still here. That looks like it's from the year 1800s. And then I also have the safe here, which, by the way, we know the code to get in this safe. There's a camera in there and two other keys, which is very weird stuff. We'll get to that later on in the series. And then I also kept his toddler chair that I guess he used to sit in front of the TV to watch his stuff. So I kept what's important, guys. I even have the drawings that he drew when he was a little kid. Now, guys, hey, listen. Calvin McGinley, he obviously was very messed up in the head from a toddler because he's drawing some crazy stuff. A guy with a mask and a chainsaw. And he's drawing death as a kid. Now, I mean, I ain't no expert. And I ain't no brainiac. But if a little kid is drawing that kind of stuff, he must have had a messed up childhood. Which makes sense. Because what we found out so far is that his whole entire family is cannibals and human traffickers. So coming up in that upbringing, it makes sense that he could be messed up in the head like that. And to top it all off, not only the realistic crazy serial killer that is living in today's age. I also brought my own very favorite, Jason Voorhees. I got a sign mask there, his stuff in here. I just want to decorate it to make it look a little more normal. This way, Ashley doesn't start freaking out every time she sees this room. I hung up my 100,000 subscriber play button. Huge shout out to the Duffies. I freaking love you guys. If you've been here since day one, you are an OG and I owe you the absolute world. I also got some Naruto figures, a Jedi Sawyer, action figure a Jason Voorhees action figure and some collectible cups last but not least I cannot forget about Itachi hey Duffy's man listen this room gives me the creeps just standing in it okay I got my hair standing up on my arms and the back of my neck just standing in this room it definitely still is a lot of evil in this room and it might be the stuff that I ended up keeping of Calvin McGinley's. But at the same time, you know, I gotta make sure that my fiance feels safe and that I can properly be in a household where I'm not looking over my shoulder every five seconds thinking someone's gonna kill me. We are all pretty much investigators at this point and you guys are by my side help me figure out this crazy story of the McGinley's. But I cannot investigate any further if I can't be comfortable in my own house. So I took the liberty of changing Calvin McGinley's room into not only Calvin McGinley's room with all his memories but I also made it the little Duffy's office. Me and you, we're gonna be chilling in here, figuring stuff out, y'all. I'm gonna do some research in here and figure stuff out about this family of cannibals. Yo, guys, off camera, not even joking. I was looking closely to these pictures and I, I realized on one of them, this one right here, because the light is hitting it weird, there's actually a picture on the back of it as well. So let me show you this real quick. It looks like a picture of Calvin McGinley's birthday party. Because right here it says, Happy Birthday Calvin. And he's got a bunch of people. They don't have names on these people, unfortunately. That would have been awesome. We could have figured out more names. But it does say Mama here. So Mama is the lady that we bought this house from. It turns out that Mama is just as evil as Calvin McGinley and his brothers and sisters. Also right here it says, Papa is mean. We never met Papa before. We don't 
don't know who Papa is, but Papa is mean and he hurts Portis. Portis is my sister. I love her and she loves we too. I think it meant to say me too. So we know that Papa is very mean and evil and he doesn't like his family. Maybe that's why he's not in any of these pictures. But what I am about to show you is going to literally blow your mind. On the back of this picture is a clown named Twisty. Now, I don't know if this clown was just there because of the birthday party of Calvin's or if this Twisty the clown has something to do with Calvin's family in general. So now this raises the question, is one of McGinley's brothers a killer clown or is that clown simply at the birthday party for Calvin? There's many questions that need to be answered. There is a lot of information to take in. Yo, we're, we're debunking an entire family of cannibals and serial killers. Listen, it's not far-fetched because his brother Cletus wears a mask and he wields a chainsaw. You can see it here that he's wielding a chainsaw. It's his big brother. He was wearing a mask. We met him in person. This is real life. We don't know who this is that is his victim, but it says mean man. And you can tell that over here on this page, it says Papa is mean. So could have Cletus murdered his Papa? We don't know. It's hard to say because I think anybody significant, he usually writes Papa or Mama and he has an arrow there and he doesn't have that. So it could be that Cletus just considers himself as a vigilante serial killer and he kills the mean people in the world or that could be Papa. We also have Mama down here and she's holding a head which is titled mean man. Now, could that be Papa's head? It very well can be. But again, it doesn't say Papa, so we can't just assume that. We could go back to assuming that Calvin McGinley actually sees his whole family as vigilantes and that he's actually doing good in the world by getting rid of the mean people. Cletus, his big brother that wears a mask and holds a chainsaw, is a butcher. And we know that because right here it says Mama said to eat or be eat. Oh no. I think that's what I meant to say is oh no right there. And that's Cletus with a chainsaw and two human drawings on the ground. And also down here, it says yum with a human on a board and, you know, knife and fork like they're about to eat a human. So it's very easily assumable that Cletus is a butcher and he's actually cutting up human so his family can eat. It is also very safe to assume that Mama, since she has victims in the crawl space and in the attic, capturing little children and little kids and bringing them home so that Cletus can cut up the children and feed it to his family. Now with that little recap, I'm sure that everybody can tell that the McGinleys are no joke and it's a completely twisted, messed up family. So assuming that Twisty, the killer clown drawn on the back of that picture is part of the family is not far-fetched at all. They could easily have a killer clown in their family. So this begs the question, Twisty, the clown, are you part of the McGinleys? I'm gonna pull out my box of goodies that I kept from Calvin's room. And we have a telephone here that I, I'm not gonna throw away just yet, just in case there is anything significant with that. So I'm gonna leave that telephone there. And then a camera that we have to go through the film that we also found in the safe over there. So we're gonna go through that, I'm keeping that for now. There's a cassette player that we can listen to. I just gotta find something that can play it aloud for everybody to hear, so we're not doing that today. What I think is proper for today is going through one of these pieces of footage that we found in the attic. If you guys don't remember my last VHR video, we went through the 1818 Marlowe Street footage and a lot of people were telling me that this is the address to the house that I'm at now, but it's not. It could have been like way, way back then. As of right now, that is not the address to the house that I'm at. We know what Indian Cabin Road is, so I don't really care to look at that right now. What I'm curious about is what is 7-3 eight four lynchwood drive that my friend is a question that we are going to be answering today baby i'm really pumped i have my entire pc that i set up just now i have the adapter that i can use to get this footage on an sd card and it's very simple for me to just plug the sd card into my pc and watch it from there so without further ado guys we are about to watch the vhr footage of 7384 lynchwood drive Let's freaking get it.
Ai! What is that behind him? What is that behind him? What is that? There's no way. Yo. Yo, this clown is messed up in the head. Oh my god. Yo, I'm speechless right now. I don't know how long this tape is, by the way. I'll try not to interrupt too much. Twisty the Clown. He does not like mean people. Twisty does not like mean people. Well, what do you mean? It, his name's Twisty? Yo, just lock the doors and stay put. I'm on my way right now. No, he, he's going to hurt you. Just, just stay put. I'm on my way now.